Kevin Turner is convinced his football career and ALS diagnosis go hand in hand. He played at Alabama, then he went on to play eight years in the NFL with the Patriots and the Eagles. CBS Atlanta's Jennifer Merrily joins us now. And Jen, Turner's sharing his story because he wants to raise awareness of the dangers of concussions and other hits to the head. He thinks it's so important to get that message out there. And Kevin Turner suffered too many concussions to count. He saw stars and was fuzzy in the head, but continued to play football. The game Turner loves made his life better, but now it's also changed it. Kevin Turner was born with football in his blood. There was no other high in the world that can, you know, to me, that could duplicate running out there. Turner began playing at the age of five. He was a standout at Alabama and went on to play eight seasons at fullback in the NFL. What kind of, of hits did you take and did you give while you were playing? throughout your career? Well, I was hoping to do more giving than taking, but uh, unfortunately, they're, they're about half and half. His helmet shows the damage. His brain feels the repercussions. Turner suffered numerous concussions and hits to the head during his career. I just thought um, at the time that, you know, once I clear my head and get everything back, you know, I'm fine. He believes it's the hits taken during football that changed his path and led to his current diagnosis of ALS, a neurodegenerative disease that affects the brain and spinal cord and can result in complete paralysis, a disease for which there is no cure. I really believe that, you know, had I not played all those years, um, that I wouldn't have this condition. Coach Curry said he's going to come. The disease has progressed since his diagnosis three years ago and has dramatically changed Turner's life. There's so many things you can't do. I'll list the things I can. Um, I can still walk around. I just can't carry anything. It takes away um, all of your independence. Um, I can't bathe myself, I can't brush my own teeth, I can't eat, I can't bring a, I can't drink, you know, I can drink, but I can't get it to my mouth, um, I can't dress myself, I can't tie my shoes. If I can't do it with my feet, I can't do it. What he can do is use his diagnosis to inform others. I was just so dead wrong about the, you know, hits to the head thing. I just, like I said, I, I feel ignorant now. And you know, Turner signed up for the brain registry with the NFL Brain Bank so that his brain can be studied mm -hmm. after death. Mm -hmm. He's also part of the NFL lawsuit, which alleges the NFL knew about the dangers of those hits to the head, but did nothing to tell the players mm -hmm. about it. So let's talk about him and his, his family. Does he have children? Mm -hmm. He has three yeah. kids. Two of them are boys. Wow. And coming up all new at 5, we'll hear what he says about his boys playing the same sport. Well, that would be a tough mm. decision to mm. have to make, knowing yeah. what he knows now. Absolutely. That's yeah. all new at 5. And Turner's journey is part of a documentary, American Man, Kevin Turner's Price for Gridiron Glory. There's a screening this Thursday at the Buckhead Theater. The proceeds will go to his foundation, which raises money and awareness for ALS. For more information and a link to tickets, go to CBSAtlanta.com. Look for that story under latest headlines. Thank you.